You'll, you'll notice I don't say a lot about the late game. I'm basically, um, it's it's like chess, right? There's a million really good openers, but once you get into the deep strategy of it, there's not as much hard hard set in place. You must be doing this. You must be doing that kind of stuff. Like, you can pretty much do what you want once you get pretty deep into the game. Killigan is bad. I hope that's not you. <laughs> Here we go. Now, in general, 2v2 isn't something where, where advice is really helpful because so much of it depends on build versus build. Like, the, the, the problem of one build being good against another build is compounded by the fact that you can take twice as much money and throw it at the same, at the same thing. So, for example, if it's Roach against Marauder and there's two players going Roach and two players going against Marauder, the fact that Ro Marauders are a little bit better than Roaches just comes into play doubly heavy or, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, so much of it just comes down to the rock, paper, scissors of the game. That, that 2v2, it's really hard to, to put any decent advice into. But we can always, in every style of play, one thing you can always do is check benchmarks. And that's cool. That's why I like them so very much. Um, so, if you look, every single player in this game is horrible. Every single player, including you, is behind on SCVs, but you're furthest ahead. At six minutes, everyone should have 24. There's no excuse for cutting SCVs early. Like, they, it doesn't get you anything, and it costs you so much money, because the earlier you cut an SCV, the longer it would have been mining if you hadn't cut it. You know, the, the further into the game you get, the, the more money that SCV would have paid back for itself. So you have 21, and that's the best of anyone, but you should have 23 or 24. And everyone else is terrible. Like your your two opponents have 15 and 16. That's that's just pathetically bad. Just terribly, terribly bad. Um, the next benchmark is 8 minutes, but there's going to be a fight before then, so we might not get a chance to talk about it. One thing we can check is the 7-minute army benchmark spending. Now, army benchmark at 7 minutes is 1,500, and as you can see, because nobody had any SCVs to get any money with, everyone is way behind on that 7-minute benchmark of 1,500. Um... You have 200 bucks spent here, and 200 bucks spent here, and 1,000 bucks spent here. So actually, you're on benchmark. You're the only player in this game who has actually spent the amount of money you're supposed to spend by seven minutes. So good job. You're the best player in this game by a pretty significant degree. This guy has spent 200 and has a $1,000 army, so that's like 1,200. He's only off by 300, but he's, he's still off. Um... Try to get to eight minutes, but first, let's look at this. This is a stupid attack, okay? Um, and I know you guys didn't make it, so me telling you that it's stupid is probably like preaching to the choir. There's a reason you didn't do it. But basically, this army was is what they built. It, it got here at 7:30, but they had to build it at six minutes for in order for it to get there because it takes 25 seconds for each marine to spawn. So at six minutes, they spent all this money, and and these marines are spawning. So at 6.30, all of the Marines have spawned, and then they start walking, and then at 7.30, they've made it all the way to your base. So they're taking their their 6-minute army and attacking your 7-minute and 30-second army. So that's just ridiculously stupid. There's no possible way that this can do anything reasonable, unless you guys were, like, really fast teching to something. So it looks, it looks as if they, they might know this, and were just trying to check if you were doing something stupid, but maybe not. I don't know. They're doing something that I like to do do a lot, where where one of the players is controlling all of the units. You can see the blue selection mark means that the blue player is controlling all of these units, while the red player gets to focus back home on on, on macro. Um, this is not going well for them, obviously, because it's a stupid attack to make. The earlier in the game you attack, uh, especially as Terran, the the less reasonable such an attack is because of the walk distance penalty and the build time penalty. You're always going to be attacking with what you had a minute and a half ago. And uh, army size benchmarks increase. You gain 500 bucks every minute from 6 minutes to 8 minutes, and then you gain 750 bucks up until 9 minutes, and then you gain 1,000 bucks every minute after that. So... Uh, as your as your saturation on one base increases, the amount of dollars you can spend on your army increases. So so the earlier on in the game you go, the the bigger this walking to their base penalty is. I hope that makes sense. Um, for example, if he leaves at six minutes and gets here at seven thirty, the difference between six minutes and seven minutes is five hundred dollars. But the difference between seven minutes and seven thirty isn't two hundred and fifty dollars. It's like three hundred and fifty dollars because your income has increased in the, in that time. 
So, uh, this continues to be pretty stupid on their part. Um, luckily for them, you guys kind of botched the defense, but not enough for it to even matter. So, units lost. They lost a ton of units, and you guys lost almost nothing. It looks like, I don't know if this is your friend or if this is just a random pug that you met up with, but it looks like he is... Let's look at a uh, income. It's 10 minutes in, and you have the most SCVs with 26. This is so sad. I don't know why everyone is, is playing so terribly, but um, even you, in, in your 1v1s, at 10 minutes, you always had 29 workers and had cut workers. And you've only got 26, and it's 10 minutes in. That's crazy. At 10 minutes, you should have 40 workers, or, or have cut workers at 30. But you should never have 26, and they should definitely not have 16. 16 workers? He's got a 400 income? I don't even know why I'm watching this game. This is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to want to watch your own replays and notice every time that you fail to meet the SCV benchmarks, I want you to consider that game a waste of your time. Like, you you shouldn't even have played it and throw the replay in the trash. And if you do this every single time you play any game, if you just take... It only takes like one minute to 8x fast forward through the first 10 minutes and look at your SCV benchmarks. And just make sure you were on benchmark, and if you weren't, just kick yourself for it. And you, you do that 10 times, and you'll you'll pretty much just never, never miss the benchmarks again. Like, just keep consistently watching your own replays and looking at SCV benchmarks until you never do this again. Because in this game, at 10 minutes... If your income was 900, 240, and everyone else had this measly, tiny, ridiculously horrible income, that's 16 workers, 18 workers, 21 workers, you would have so much bigger of an army than everyone else that even on one base, you, you could just be dominating the game. So it's really important, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about it, because everyone knows this by now. It's just Let's just enjoy the game and pretend none of that is, is an issue. Oh, this is this is hard. Uh M and M against tanks. Ouch. So there's kind of a critical mass of tanks. If you have five tanks against a bunch of marines, the marines are just gonna get completely and utterly flattened, even if you have a bajillion of them. Um luckily for you, these guys didn't siege up. <laughs> Look at that, they got three unseaged tanks. So you guys were able to pull through. But if those tanks had been sieged when you showed up, you guys would just definitely have not even... You would have killed hardly anything at all. So it's just kind of lucky that you caught them caught them walking. Oh, and that's that's just silly. Luckily, the, the opponent is like, Oh no, one sieged tank and ran away, but... <laughs> yeah. One sieged tank with nothing in front of it is bad. Tanks are actually very low health per dollar. They have the same health per dollar as Reapers. They're They're very fragile. Um, and it's just because they cost so many dollars that it seems like they have a lot of health. But in reality, um, if you want to be efficient in your battles, a tank is like um, almost $300. That means six marines. If you take six marines, spread them out, and attack a tank without any anyone defending him, the marines will just dominate that tank. Like Tanks are not meant to fight by themselves with no support. Into your ass. <laughs> He's attacking your armor. Good job. So, uh, I want to get in... This map, I usually thumbs down this map in 2v2 because it only has one reasonable expansion, which means you guys have to share it. Which means one of you is basically going to have m no income. You're going to mine out your base and be just be stuck with no income. And then it's like a 1v1 with two guys watching. And that's just, that's not very fun. 